everyone and welcome. I am Elisa and in today's video we're going to take a look at Portable Painter's newest edition, the Micro Palette. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Now let's open this up. I wanted to open this up and review my first thoughts about this palette and then I'm going to use it on some outings and trips that I'm going to be going on for a few weeks and then I will be able to give you a full review on what I think about this palette. First off, I love the bag that it comes in. Everything is able to stay within this bag. It is made by Steve Padden, and he also made the Portable Painter Classic palette a few years ago. I will show you a picture over here of that palette. It is definitely one I want to check out and possibly get as well. We'll open this up. It's so cute and tiny. I received this in the mail not so long ago and I've been so excited to open it up and try this out. So here it says it's the size of a credit card. I have a preferred card here for my Utrecht art supplies, which is the same size as a credit card. It is indeed smaller than a credit card and just slightly over width-wise, and it's about one inch thick. You guys know I love going plein air painting, so I am really excited to try this out. Here it shows how we can put it together. So it comes in three parts. We have the lid here. And the middle piece and the water container. And we just attach our water container here on the side. It's really easy. Just slides in right here. You can see. And then there's a place where you can slide this one in as well. You can put these on either side, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed. And we have another tray right here. So you have four mixing trays. It looks like there's also some grooves in here, so you can mix some paint in here as well if you have a separate water container. But if you're, say, traveling and you don't have another water container, you can fill this with water and have your water and some mixing trays. You have six half pans here, but I've read and seen that you can actually take these out and put in full pans. So I could actually have two full pans and two half pans or have one full pan and four half pans. Let's try taking one of these out. The pans are definitely not easy to get out. I believe they're stuck to the bottom with an adhesive, um, which is nice because then they won't fall out. Ooh. So here it even has a place that you can hold it in your hand. You can hold it like that or however you want to hold it. So that's really cool. Let me see if I can get something to help me get it out. My palette knife was too flimsy. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. See here, it has a little sticker adhesive that helps it stay in. And you can add your own pans, I believe as well, they will fit. I'm gonna grab 
one of my half pans. I don't have any full pans. This was just my Altoid one. Okay, I stuck mine in with magnets. This looks to be like a uh, plastic. I'm gonna try putting that in. Yeah, so that one does fit. You would have to put in a little bit of a adhesive at the bottom. Mine has magnets in this one because it's in a metal tin. But it looks like they use the same principle just using an adhesive since it's plastic. It is a T shape, which is really nice because you can set it on the side. Let's see, we got a sketchbook here. This is my moleskin watercolor sketchbook. You guys have probably seen this in some other videos. You can see to scale compared to this sketchbook, which is a five by nine. And you can put it right next to it if you're at a table somewhere, or you can put it above or onto this side. The other thing I noticed is you can put it here. And if you grab one of these binder clips, you can actually clip it to the side there. You can put that down or leave it up. And so actually, guys, this is super light. It doesn't add a whole lot of weight. So if I am sitting somewhere and I'm sketching, I don't have to worry about holding my sketchbook and my palette and my brush. I can keep it all together. I would be careful because your water could potentially spill out. But if you don't need a lot, or if you're using, say, water brushes, you know, you can do it with one hand, which is really, really nice. Ugh. It makes it so much more convenient to sit down and sketch. I have been on trips where I did bring my travel bag, which is also nice. But when I'm sitting somewhere I, and I'm just in a chair, I don't always have a place to set, you know, all of my stuff. And it's kind of balancing in my lap and I have, you know, my water containers and all my stuff. I'm going on a trip soon uh, in the next couple days. So I'm excited to test this out as I'm in the airport and as I'm traveling and really get a chance to test this out and see how it holds up to traveling and what I'm doing because that's what this is for. I'm going to pick some colors and put them in here. I'm not sure exactly yet what colors I'm going to put in here for my trip, but I am so excited to use this. I maybe wouldn't use this for long extended trips, like if it's more than a week, just because I would maybe need more colors than this. Uh, and in that case, when I was looking at his Portable Painter Classic, that would be the size I would use for going on a longer extended trip. If any of you guys have used the Portable Painter classic. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think about it. The other nice thing about this bag is I can put my binder clip inside this little bag with my palette. So I always have it no matter which sketchbook I bring. Now before I go out and try out my new palette, I'm excited to let you guys know that Steve Padden sent me a extra micro portable painter palette. Yay! I'm so excited to be able to let somebody else be able to try one of these and get to experience the fun of painting and traveling at the same time. If you are interested, check out the video contest details for the giveaway below. Now here's a little bit of what I did while I was on my trip. This is a view of the mountains near our hotel. 
We were having breakfast outside and I really wanted to capture this moment. Here you'll notice that it's a little bit more shaky. I had to change to my cell phone because my GoPro died. So I'm trying to hold my cell phone while I'm painting the whole time. Honestly, I do not find very many things about it that I do not like. I really have loved having it for the last uh, several weeks. It has been very convenient and useful to use and get out. I don't worry about having the space to make mixtures or being overwhelmed maybe with too many colors when I'm in a situation where I want to just quickly capture a moment. And that's what I've loved about this palette. It's super quick and easy to set up. Takes all of maybe not even a full minute to set it up and it's ready to go. I love how small and compact it is, so I don't feel like I'm getting in anybody's way or bugging anybody with my palette. I can easily attach it to my sketchbook, which I did while painting in the airport. Now, since I was in the airport, I actually used my water pens, which already had a little bit of water. I didn't have to worry about where I was gonna dump this when I needed to quickly um, get ready to get on the plane, which was really nice. I sat down and this lady was in front of me with this beautiful green coat, which went very well with some of the colors that I had picked. If you're wondering what colors, I have them here. We have French Ultramarine, Pero Red, Hansa Yellow Deep, Alvaro's Caliente Gray, Serpentine Genuine, and Burnt Sienna Light. I will link all of the supplies in the description below so you guys can look at those if you would like. I knew I was going to a desert area, so I had originally chose all of my primary colors. I chose a burnt sienna light since we would be in the desert and I would have a lot of browns to be covering if I did any landscapes, as well as any cactuses or greenery from the palm trees. I chose a serpentine genuine. I love the little flecks of red you get in there, which gives it a very earthy feel, which I thought would go well with a desert area. And then I chose Alvaro's Caliente Gray. I liked the warmth of it as well as the granulation that it had in there. 
and it was perfect for this. I love how this one turned out. It really captured that moment of her standing there outside of the gate. I am not one to always want to get out my stuff because I feel like if I'm setting up all of these things that I'm in somebody's way, this takes all of that away. Everything is compact, it's together. I can have it on here so that doesn't put it in anybody's way. If I have some more room, I can set it down. Or with this little handle, I can hold it, which I also did use. I was able to set it on my lap and hold it and paint away. The mixing wells were great. It was, I was able to have enough space to mix quite a bit of paint in there. And then my last painting I did right here of the Palm Springs Vista. I just loved being able to pull this out in the morning at breakfast and enjoy painting while I had my breakfast, but it wasn't too much stuff. It was very quick, very easy, and I love having this. This is definitely something I recommend to all of you. I will be keeping this one in my purse to be able to paint wherever I go. I don't think I found anything that I really did not like about it, honestly. Um, with this plastic, the water doesn't beat up on it like in some other plastic trays and creates a really nice puddle of water for you. And I will find myself painting a lot more, so hopefully I will now be able to fill up this sketchbook a lot faster because I still have quite a bit to go. I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys will give it a chance. See what you think about it. I'll leave a link in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed learning about this new palette with me. Don't forget to check out the description so you can enter to win your own Portable Painter Micro. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that bell so you can see more videos just like this. Check out this one over here on Painting Pumpkins, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!